found out that coming up on February 2nd, the leadership of the WEA is going to be having a little summit. What do you think? Is their summit going to be about how can we better teach kids? How can we be better role models for kids? How can we focus on the basics of education? No, of course not. It's going to be a drag queen performance. <laughs> is there any surprise in the world? It says Friday 2 2 will be an evening in person at the Puget Sound Skills Center, and it's going to uh, f feature drag queen story hour from Sylvia O. Oh, stay for more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do love a good drag queen name. Now, listen, I, I love a drag show. I've been to many, many drag shows, really all over the world. I've been to some in Seattle. I blame my friend Johnny. Wherever we are, he takes me to a drag show. Tokyo, back in the day when he was serving in the military. New York, last time I was there to visit him. So I am not opposed to drag shows. Love them. I am also an adult. And I also can focus on my job and also go to drag shows in my free time. But when you are the Washington Education Association and test scores are in the toilet and you're using your time and your resources to watch a drag performance, I would argue that you are not able to do both at once. Let's see what, uh, we, we looked we, online for Sylvia O. Stay for more to see what kind of drag queen Sylvia might be. You got a clip for us, Nicole? Nothing like, this is when the, um, you know, actually has some dancers behind her and stuff, but most of her shows seem to be for an elderly community oh. in hey. West Seattle. Oh, there's a little bit of scantily clad Navy men behind yeah. her. Just do it, getting their little dance on. <laughs> I mean, I can see how that obviously, you know, teaches these teachers a lot about just <laughs> quality, <laughs> quality education. Uh, you laugh so you don't cry, which is 90% really, of Undivided is really. us all laughing together mm -hmm. so we don't break down in tears and just completely give up. I mean, this is ridiculous. It also, um, if you go to the, the link that the flyer sends you to, it says that the uh, event is going to feature Helena Lourdes Donato Sapp, who is a young activist keynote speaker, child activist. I mean, that also is very much in keeping right. with the goal mm -hmm. of the Washington Education Association to teach children how to be activists. And look, I like a kid who is a good public speaker. I think that's a good skill, teaching a child public speaking. You know, more power to you. Helena, when I was young, I used to do all sorts of public speaking. Maybe that's where I found my, why I found myself where I am right now. So I actually don't knock the kid for being a good public speaker, being invited to speak at these events. But it, I, I've listened to a couple of her things. And I mean, there definitely is kind of a social justice activism bend. And I also don't think that it speaks a whole lot to what teachers should be learning about, which is trying to get back to the basics. It was also just interesting because this is one of the stories we were gonna do on Thursday's show, but we had to push back to today because we, we had so much on Thursday. And it just so happened that just as we were getting ready to come on the air today, Nicole got an email from a listener of ours who's a substitute teacher who says, WEA is currently reaching out to subs and offering them some training classes. And here's what this particular substitute teacher got sent uh, this morning. So it says, emergency substitute teacher project, professional development. Oh, that's great. You're gonna give subs some opportunities for professional development as well? That's that's awesome. You, you probably should be doing that. Let's see what kind of... Uh, Professional development, they're offering social emotional learning and education. Understanding cultural differences to reduce trauma. Okay. Gender identity and intersectionality. Understanding cultural differences to reduce trauma. Successful inclusion and ed so the same. So they're like, hey, this is <laughs> This is the crap we're pushing on our full-time teachers by state law, so we can't leave our subs out because, God forbid, one of our full-time activist teachers has to take a few weeks off, and then we get in a substitute teacher who actually wants to teach the kids reading, writing, and arithmetic. We cannot have that. So we need to make sure that the subs are fully also indoctrinated in what WEA wants our education system to look like. Freaking absurd.